drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! It's one of my more difficult conversations uh, I've had in my career. Uh, talking to Joe last night, and, uh, and it's uh, it's always uh, you know tough when you see one of your guys go. Joe was drafted by the Giants. He's a Giant. I, he's done. Uh, so many good things for us, helped us win championships here. And, uh, um, and you know, I think it's a case where Joe, I think it's, he's ready to look for a new opportunity and a chance to restart his career. His role had changed here. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, he'll be playing somewhere and I'll always be pulling for Joe. As I said, this was one of the more difficult ones. Uh, Oh, I, I really like Joe. I respect him. Uh, uh, of course, appreciate everything he's done here. So I mean, I'm not going to lie. This was a, a very tough one, uh, but it should be. You know, hey, you spend as much time as we all do together and for as long as we've uh, been together, uh, uh, it's going to be tough. It, you know, if it's not, you're not human. We have been in a situation where we've been looking to get uh, – a little more production out of that second base spot, and uh, you know, bringing in Scooter, you know, on deadline day, and, and with uh, Solano swinging the bat well, uh, you know, last few days actually Joe kind of got in some games, pinch hit, got double switched in, you know, somewhat. Boats talked about the day after the deadline of how he was going to use him, um, and actually uh, helped us helped us out in a couple of those games, which you know, kind of is what you've come to expect from Joe. I mean, he's just a winning ball player, but, you know, it didn't seem kind of fair to him to keep him in this role and, uh, you know, probably make it actually a little bit difficult for Boats to kind of manage the roster with, you know, three primarily second base types. I mean, obviously Solano has a little more flexibility, but you know, we had some roster flexibility carrying four starters the last few days and, you know, bought us a little bit more time, but, you know, we did figure that at some point We'd, we'd have to make this move, and obviously activating Menez to start today. Um, we just thought it kind of made sense for everybody involved to go ahead with this move. It, there, there's a group of guys that have been here for a long time, uh, you know, staff that's been here for a long time. There's a lot of familiarity and a lot of comfort, um, and uh, it, it's hard to uh, change that mix, you know, especially for a guy like Joe who's done so much for this organization and been such a big part of the recent success, um, you know. <laughs> I, I probably don't have the license to say this as much as you know some of the guys who've been teammates with him for a long time and both some of the coaches, but he's been one of my favorite players over the last few years, you know, both watching him from across the way and being around him this year. Um, you know, I think for me, the highest compliment I can pay to a player is uh, when you never have any question that they're going to do whatever it takes to help their team win a, win a game. Uh, regardless of how it impacts their own stats. So uh, whether it's make, being fundamentally sound in the field or on the bases or, you know, taking a pitch in a hitter's count when you need to run up the, you know, opposing pitcher's pitch count and, you know, kind of sacrificing yourself for the good of the team. Uh, you know, he's up there, I think, with, you know, he's at the top of the list of the players that play the game that way. I mean, I was fortunate to be around Chase Utley for a few years in L.A., and, in that facet of, of just being a winning baseball player, I'd put Joe in the same category. So, um, you know, it's definitely a tough day for the organization, teammates, fans, and, and the staff that's that's been around him for a while. But, you know, to get back to your original question, I do think being in the race and, and uh, you know, it kind of forced us to look more actively for ways to try to get more production out of that position and was part of the thought process bringing Scooter in. and. Uh, you know, I think Boach may look to get Solano into the lineup more now as well. So uh, those things all kind of factored in.